Sunday guys. This is actually starting from last Sunday's vlog. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on Sienna's kind of weekly work routine, which actually as much as it's to do with her kissing spine and helping her in that stage of life currently, um, it's also very much about really trying to get her core so much stronger, building more top line. So actually this program is good for any horse, let alone a horse that's got kissing spine and so on. First up though, we're starting this vlog with me finding that Sienna is on the wrong side of the electric fence. I say electric, it's not actually electrified currently. Oh, I'm now thinking she's actually pulled the post out as well. She is a pain in the butt sometimes, this mare. <laughs> she really is. You're not meant to be that side. You've pulled the post down, haven't you? I love that she's now like, oh, I can't get back in. I mean, she sure got out, didn't she? Don't, don't drag any more out, thank you. Yes, she's pulled the post out. What have you done? So as I said, this vlog is all about Sienna's working week and what she's up to, her activities, her exercises and so on. And on a Sunday night, I like to sit down and prep it because I don't know if you find this, but by the time you get back from work on a weekday, sometimes I just can't think what to do with her. So if it's all prepped, it just makes life that little bit easier. So you can see at the top, I've just put the activities she's allowed to do at the moment. Then obviously putting an activity into each of the days. And then at the bottom, I've just started to put some exercises in. I haven't filled it all in yet, but exercises that I've seen online that I think could be really helpful for her. Just so that when it comes to going into the school, I've kind of got them all ready there to follow. Um, there's also some other parts of her kind of routine that are all helping towards improving her kissing spine, which I will show you. But literally, I'm going to bring you along for the week and show you what I get up to with her each day. Afternoon, guys. It is week two, technically, for Sienna and her kissing spine rehab. As I said, I feel a bit more confident with what I'm doing with her now and the kind of rehab plan obviously don't take this as gospel what I'm doing this is I've um made this for Sienna and you know every horse's kissing spine is different some are coming out of surgery some are just having it medicated like her um I've got this sort of advice from kind of online forums from vets from physios talking to um other people that have got horses with kissing spine my conclusion was sorry about the wind in the background um to kind of you know take the bits of advice that I think will work well for her take all the exercise and stuff that again I think will work well for her and sort of just put it together really <laughs> that's how I've come up with my program um but like I say every horse is different don't go on my guide um this is what I've just decided for Sienna interestingly one of the things I have started doing and I read this somewhere I can't remember where it was on Facebook somewhere that it's quite good if I try and point at her bottom here to rub like here along her bottom and you might just get them to like turn their bum over a bit. And then that way they're kind of, um, I would like to say I know the kind of correct wording to say this, but it kind of makes them turn their hindquarters a little bit. And I would imagine gets the SI moving a little bit. Um, I don't know whether it really is doing any good or not, but I can't see it doing any harm. She seems to love it. And she definitely does tilt her bum. And so it makes me think that then kind of this bit up here is working because we're getting it to turn into us. Like I say, I read it online, someone wrote about it, and I just thought it made sense to me. So I have added that into our routine that every time I groom her, I itch her bottom for her, and it makes her just slightly tilt her hindquarters, depending on which way I'm rubbing her backside. She has a lovely time. Something else, I'm also, there they are, looking for lunch lines um that I'm keen to do and I think I've already mentioned this is to get her some sort of heat pad so that I can put it over her back so before she does some exercise she has the heat pad on for however long and that's just going to really warm up the muscles and hopefully mean that when she then goes off to work that she will be able to be even more sort of stretchy and soft over her back because it's had a really good warm up from the pad first of all um but I'm gonna have to save some pennies for that first here are a few clips from Sienna's long raining session this morning. Now, as you can see, she isn't wearing a roller. Now, this does make long rain slightly harder. However, I found she really stretches better when she doesn't have it on. I think the pressure or the added pressure of the roller on her back does make a difference. And so if I can manage to long rain her without it, all the better because she seems to want to stretch more. But I would say if you've got a young horse, inexperienced horse or a horse that's naturally spooky, then I wouldn't suggest doing this because it's very hard to keep the lunge lines up. They do occasionally go between the front legs. So if you have got a nervous horse, don't do it, don't do it. Sienna is incredibly good to long rein um, and you really do have to keep 
an eye on those lunge lines, make sure you carry your hands quite high. But I'm so pleased with the results because she really is dropping her neck and head, starting to lift a little through the back. And yeah, I couldn't be more pleased and love seeing her working over these poles. We'll add though, the pole distances were a little off. I asked my dad to do them for me and they were just not quite right. But it was good for Sienna to have to work it out for herself. But I'm loving this work from her. <laughs> Next up is the carrot stretches. So we do the carrot stretches after each workout because at that point her body's all warm and um you know she's at her most supple interestingly i've noticed that her right side is a lot weaker than her left when doing the carrot stretches but no judgment guys we know we are not quite there yet on the carrot stretches and she's you know she doesn't find it very easy and then when she can't do it she tends to give up a little bit so it's work in progress work in progress but we're getting there aren't we sienna here is a few speeded up carrot stretches i did with sienna obviously not the whole thing um these were all told to me by my chiropractor slash vet so we go towards the last rib on her body when going to the side i also take her down to her fetlock i also go between her legs um and the main thing for me is not her not overstretching her sort of doing it too far so trying to make her take her time as she stretches and for those stretches to be as correct as possible Oh, I have had enough of this weather. It has rained non-stop all this morning and it wasn't forecast. That annoys me more when it's not forecast. <laughs> I get so cross about it. Anyway, um, day two of Sienna's rehab. Well, I say day two, week two, day two. Um, and today she is going to be using, this is the Thermatex. I think it was pro something, literally like the bum band thing. However, I'm using it to go around her tummy, so for core. Um, I don't love putting the roller on her at the moment, just because I think it's better to keep the pressure off of her back. That being said, if I want to use this, I've got no choice, I need to put the roller on. So I always make sure that I put like a poly pad or something under, something that's nice and thick. A really good groom of her. Um, I've done that rubbing of her bottom both sides to, it might be something called like the pelvic twist or something. Oh, pelvic tilt, might be that. Anyway, just to try and get her to move both ways. Um, and then, like I say, I'm going to be doing hand work with her today. Um, and I've got a few other things that I can do when I'm doing in hand with her that I couldn't do if I was long reigning, which is why I like to do both. Plan with using the Thermatex, I want to say Pro Core or something like that. Um, and using the core band, the one that goes, goes under her belly, is to hopefully remind her to engage her core really and to try and get her to lift through her back a little bit more. Um, and I definitely think it does help. Like, I definitely, you know, it does make her um lift up through her stomach that little bit more because she hasn't used it very much i'm only doing really short bursts of using it at the moment so sort of four to five minutes max and then taking it off and i'm not doing like the bum band and the tummy band at the same time because i think that's quite a lot to ask of them so let's go have some fun in the rain eh so because it's raining i'm not going to put my phone on the side and film today's session um, as you can see, I lead her in a head collar. She's not particularly strong. She's not the sort to pull away. So for me, that's easy enough to work with. Um, while we're walking in hand, she's not quite ready for being doing trotting or any sort of lateral work or that kind of thing. So it's going to be halts, making sure she halts square all around, which is something she doesn't find very easy. Rain back, do quite a few bits of rain back. Again, making her push back onto her hind quarters and then walking her off again. Doing some poles that I've got set out. I've got a few raised ones as well. Um, just keeping those little transitions going, a little forward walk, a little slow walk. That's kind of where we're at at the moment when it comes to in-hand work. And again, just trying to help her understand about stretching. Good girl, I think she's just eyeing up some uh, acorn leaves. <laughs> um, but obviously as the weeks go on, we could do a little bit more in the school. We could do more lateral work. We can do more sort of bending and more turning work, turn on the forehands, that kind of thing. So there's a lot more to come. I was really pleased with this halt from Sienna um, because her hind legs were actually more under her. Normally she tends to halt and her back legs are a mile behind her. So the fact that she's starting to engage more and bring those hind legs under her is a real sign of progress. I was really pleased with this. Good. Oh. Straighten yourself up. Good try. And forward. And then just like yesterday and just like tomorrow and the next day, more carrot stretches. The only one I didn't mention, again, please don't take my word for this. Please talk to a chiro or a physio about carrot stretches for your horse. Don't just follow my directions. 
um, is the one where you um, take your fingers kind of like under where the girth of the horse would be like if you put the tack on and you can get them to lift up through their back and you can actually get a bit of bend over back. We've also been doing that with her, which I can only imagine is very good for her. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna crack on, do these carrot stretches with her, which she's getting so much better about. I have to say the one thing I really struggle with is doing long enough. Like I get 25 minutes out there, especially if it's hand walking and like doing that kind of stuff. And she's bored, I'm bored. Um, keeping her entertained enough is hard. I think it'll get easier as we can do more with her in hand. But yeah, today I only did reach 25 minutes. Um, I mean, it is very wet and so on out there, but yeah, I only reached 25 minutes and I was a bit like, I think we're both done. Whereas, you know, I suppose we should be working towards 30, 40, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Today was hill hacking for Sienna, so we do this twice a week. We're quite lucky that we live in quite a hilly area. I'm riding and leading, so she isn't the most stretched, which if I was on top and riding her, I could probably get her to be a bit more long and low in the frame. But as I'm not riding her currently, this is the next best thing. Um, and the hill work is so good for their fitness, their core strength, their top line. It's just a really good workout for them. So it's nice to also get her out of the school. Hey guys, so today is Thursday and it is another in hand working day for her. I actually put her in the bridle today, not the, <laughs> just a bit too close, um, in the bridle today because I want to work on now perhaps introducing like a little bit more bending with her and it's very fly out today, it's sort of muggy and fly, it's not particularly nice. Um, work on getting her to bend through her body a little bit now, just slightly, just start it off anyway. So this was a really different in-hand session with Sienna compared to earlier in the week where I just walked beside her shoulder and sort of went in straight lines and went up and down poles and halts and rain back. That was all I'd done. This was very much about starting to look at her to bend through her body, through her neck um, and trying to help her find relaxation in that softening of her body and bending. And I was surprised you can see how stiff she looks. She actually didn't find this very easy, even though she's been doing carrot stretches recently with the bridle on. She just, yeah, you can see she's quite sort of niggly. She's sort of just not that comfortable at it. So this is definitely something we're going to have to work on. Um, I want her to find comfort when she's doing it. I know that sounds bizarre, but she never sort of looks like she softens or relaxes truly in this early work in this session um i was really quite surprised by it obviously i fast forwarded it so it's all a bit speeded up because otherwise we'd be here for hours um then i moved on to some small circles again using the dressage whip just to point to her stomach to try and help her understand that she's got to bend through her rib cage um also just occasionally giving her a little tickle on there if i needed her to pick up a little bit of pace and keep active um just really working on that shaping um, the left rein wasn't too bad. I've got to work on not letting that outside shoulder drift. So she does slightly drift through the outside shoulder. But, you know, for a first session, I didn't think it was too bad. And you can see on the right rein, a little tighter. You can see her body doesn't look quite as soft. And also, I would obviously, in the future, like to see her drop her head and neck down a lot lower and come up through the back more. But, as I say, it was a first session, so I'm, you know, not too disappointed. I did some slightly bigger circles then. I'm also looking for her to cross those hind legs. So when we're turning, I want to see her crossing those hind legs under her. This is going to be so good for her back. Again, here, getting better. Um, she'd started to drop there. And then I went back to the beginning again and did the bending. And you can already see from her shaping, she's a lot better the second time round. So she's actually started to drop her head and neck. Still, a, you know, a little bit resistant in the actual bends, but so much better from earlier in the session so we have progress which I was really pleased about it's really nice to see her start to kind of warm up to it and also you can see here I'm just standing with her and actually she's starting to relax to it which is brilliant and then one more circle at the end and again dropping her head and neck more welcome to Friday schooling session as you can see we are long reigning again and we are doing lots and lots of poles so we've got this lovely long line of poles set out nothing raised just simple walk poles um, just working on Sienna's straightness no roller again, as you can see, because I just think she stretches so much better without it. And then one much more raised pole. And you can see with the raised pole how much more she has to lift. So you're getting much more height from her legs. And also what's brilliant is she stayed in a really lovely long and low position while doing the raised pole. So this is going to mean that she's got much more lift through her back and she's going to have to engage her core that much more. And I have noticed that she's a lot more willing to do that. So it makes me, um, it makes me wonder if 
having the spinal processes medicated, whether she's feeling that she can stretch that bit more. I then moved on to teaching her a few little bits of lateral work. So just trying to bring in a little bit of leg yield with her, only some baby steps, um, but using it obviously with the long lines. And we did get a few steps, so a little bit of crossing from behind. So work in progress, this one. Evening guys, it is Saturday and today Sienna had the day off. I actually look forward to her day off because now that she only gets one day off a week, yeah, it's quite nice to have a break from the endless walking. So she had today off. Tomorrow is hill hacking day again. And so I'm not going to record that because obviously you've already seen that this week. Pretty much she does two of everything at the moment. Two hill hacks, two long reining, two in hand. But as she gets further into this rehab, the more she can do, it will start to change a little bit. So I'll probably vlog another kind of weekly work routine in a couple of weeks time because I think it'll have changed a lot again then. Uh, but yeah, that's just currently what we're doing and I already feel like I'm seeing some positive results from her and it's quite early I mean it could be down to having the spinal processes medicated but it also could be to do with the work we're doing but she's definitely stretching more than I've ever seen her stretch she is definitely starting to halt a lot squarer with her hind legs more under her which is a really good sign um working over the poles I'm seeing her actually drop her head and neck and really then lift through her body so seeing some really nice positive signs already but uh, yes I will obviously keep you updated and thank you for watching I think it's probably going to end up quite a long vlog so thank you if you've got this far